Probably the thing that I've been most involved with for at least the last 10 or 15 years and a lot the last couple of years is on the globalization of EPRI. So, you know, EPRI has been doing, even though it was founded in the United States 50 years ago, it's been working with international partners for the majority of that time. Even in the 80s, we're doing a lot of work around the world and it's been increasing more and more over time. And it's it's really not a destination, it's a journey. And, you know, EPRI was founded to be collaborative and to find the best and the brightest wherever in the world that we could find them so that they could contribute to the work. And the globalization of EPRI, whether it was with the nuclear group back uh, over the last 15 years as they increasingly globalize and they, they bring a more global sensibility to their work and to the membership, their advisory structures, or even nowadays working in EPRI International, really uh, finding all sorts of new ways, right? Adding to the global workforce, adding to the global membership, engaging new types of partners in new ways, working with government institutions in Europe and the United States to uh, identify or develop projects to really have meaningful impact.